diver and oxygen marketing and I've come here today to meet lots of other like-minded women and so far I've really gotten off lot of this programme. I think the whole running programme and what they've been offering to women is fantastic because it's given people like me the opportunity of investigating and qualifying you know, what you need to do in business to actually uh, fulfil your own dreams. And there's one particular programme that I thoroughly enjoyed, it was about finding out my values. And the business I was in at the time was actually completely against my values about what I was working in. And as a result of that, I've actually left, the, I actually walked away from my job at that time. So well, that was, that was a very huge moment yeah. for you, wasn't it? Huge moment, yeah. yeah. So did it, was it the confidence that it gave you, or was it insight, or...? No, because it really made me realise that one of my big values is integrity, and I was working against my own integrity, so I did something about it. And I think by coming to this group, it means that you can actually investigate other opportunities for yourself, you know, to try and fulfil your own inner needs. Fantastic. And you're enjoying today, obviously. It's great. It's a great day. Is it good to meet lots of like-minded women? It's great to meet lots of uh, like-minded women and to see what other women are doing with their lives because very often you get entrenched in the routine of work and it does you good sometimes to actually think, well, you know, I really am interested in that aspect as well, but how do I go about that? And just by chatting to so many ladies, they actually say, well, this is what I did and this is how I went about it. So it's, you're not, you, you know, you're not um, alone in trying to make that transition. Fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you. Bollywood style dinner parties um, and I did an event at Welland, one of my events which was fabulous and flamboyant and fun um, and that was a celebration, I think it was Celebrate Me. I first attended a course, um, I think it was um, Get Alive actually, um, which was facilitated by Lisa Whitehead and it was absolutely amazing. It really gave me, um, I felt like I had people that were going to support me and listen to me um, and guide me and advise me, and that's what was missing before I got in touch with Welland. Um, I subsequently have done many of the courses, and I think it's my second home, really. Um, and I think what they've done for me is invaluable. I don't think I'd be here today if it wasn't for Welland. Um, and again, it's about having that support and the camaraderie of women around you, and they understand where you're coming from. And like many businesses, I'm not saying we're better than men or we're worse than men, but we have different issues than men. It's like comparing apples and oranges. But we're very different in business, women are. And I think we, we do business intuitively. Um, one of the courses I attended was about principles and values. And it's the values that you have that drive you in business, really. So, but the, all the courses just seem so perfectly tailor-made for women. So I just got so much from it. And I've seen it, and I've always seen it experiences. Lisa White has got, Lisa's going to be famous about nothing to do with it. I'm telling everybody how her make it happen yeah. inspired me to go further. I always knew I wanted to do what I wanted to do. I never really thought I could do it. It was like a pseudo confidence that I had. And now I have a real confidence, thanks to Welland. And obviously you've been on Loose Women, you've been a fine, you know, fine list on that. Do you think you could have done that without the sort of support and the... You know, getting involved in the Welland um, program has that really helped you with, with that particular experience? I think with the, with the connections I've made here at Welland, I've used them as a, as a guinea pig. So every time I want to do something, I say, "Hi, can I have a five-minute presentation?" And you can give me feedback on it, and that's what I've been doing. And lo and behold, I'm going to do another presentation today because I've got screen test to be a presenter on Ideal World. So I want to do a presentation and get feedback on what I'm doing right and where I could improve. And you can't, you can't buy that kind of advice, you can't. It's invaluable, really. Well, best of luck with that, Pavi. Thank you very much for speaking to Thank us. You. Thank you. I'm Anna Leeson from Breeze Rentals. I was newly self-employed when I first started on the Motivate Me course, I believe it was. Uh, the first one that I did at Stoke Rochford and I learned to reassess what my values were, what I thought my values were, 
my actual values were completely different and that was quite an eye-opener for me and that has obviously changed the way I work um, it's made it acceptable for me to say no to clients that I don't want to take on which was quite a big hurdle for me as well being newly self-employed I thought I had to say yes to everybody um, so that was a big learning experience the first client that I ended up saying no to, sorry, thanks, but no thanks, um, I felt slightly guilty, as in, should I be saying no to this or shouldn't I? And then I thought, you know what, I don't, she hasn't got the same values as me, which she clearly hadn't. Um, her property wasn't of a standard that I wanted to represent, um, so I'm pleased in the long run that I've, that I've said no and I've stuck to that in the first year of mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. It's obviously still early days, but um, that was a big learning curve. I learned a lot through coming on these courses. It's enabled me to look at being self-employed more as a business rather than me pulling in an income mm -hmm. every month. And how am I going to make that ends me? It is more about the business and, and what do I want it to look like to other people and to make sure that it represents me and my standards and my values, so. What about the people that you've met on the courses, and the people, in fact, running the courses? What would you say about them? Fortune great friendships? Some have they? been absolutely inspirational. Um, quite a few to mention. I've gone on to pursue other avenues with people that I've met on the course, um, in on a personal level, in fields that they work in, um, which has been nothing but rewarding for me. Um, as a lady in a mid thirties, all of a sudden I've, uh, I would say, learnt about who I am and where I want to go. So I've learnt quite a lot in a year. That's a lot to learn in a year, isn't it? <laughs> what what yes. do you think you had? To, it's quite a difficult question. But if you had to take sort of one thing away from this experience, what would it be that you'd learnt about yourself? What would you say for you was the sort of key? Thing, if you can. Self belief. Yeah. Absolutely. This has been a fantastic experience for me. Fantastic. And you've obviously had fun with it too, because there's a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, isn't there? <coughs> very very much so. Do you think that's important too? Yeah, to very much so. And it's also meeting other women and knowing that on a day to day basis, when I'm either working from home or I'm meeting clients or tenants, I know that there's a field, a whole arena of other women that are out there doing a similar sort of thing, albeit in different fields. So to know that you're not on your own is wonderful and it's nice to stay in contact with various people that you make a connection with on these courses to pick the phone up or drop them an email and, and ask, you know, how's things for you and all of a sudden you're not the only one. That's great. Thank you very much for chatting to us. You're welcome. Thank you. I